Here we are in Slovenia. I would say that eating animal products is the most violent behavior on earth. People eat out of these murder factories. So she's gonna follow us around all day. We'll keep chipping away at her and hopefully she's buying soy milk by the end of this. There's a fire inside your heart. And let it light up the world. Light up the world. Photos of animals, okay. Take them out with you on outreach. Show them to the public. So they connect the faces of the animals in here, which are local to them, to the piece of flesh on their plate. It's a very powerful connection for them to make. All right, so we're just in the Slovenian streets here, and we're about to walk up to a cube of truth. See if we can have some uh, conversations with the public. I think they, the English speaking here is quite good, so we'll see how it goes. So check this out, just walking up to the cube, they've got this falafel stand here. They got soy burgers up here on the menu. Falafel in flatbread, veggie steak, it says. Amazing. Yeah, so the um, reporters from the news show are here too, filming this, so. Gotta make a good media here in Slovenia. So I'd ask all the viewers at home to, to question whether or not they have a system of morals that they apply to certain animals and to other humans, and why they decide to throw those morals out the window when it comes to certain species of animals like pigs and chickens and lambs. But if it were a dog, you would never ask for a dog to be slaughtered on your behalf. But when you pay for animal products, flesh and eggs and dairy, cheese, you are actually paying for other animals to be slaughtered on your behalf. And I believe most human beings are good-hearted people who are against animal abuse. When you buy and consume animal products, you are funding the very thing you are against. So that is why we should all be morally obliged to be vegan. We're gonna see if the reporter who I was advocating to at the slaughterhouse today, who's a vegetarian, We'll do the vegan challenge and give up the cruel products from her diet for the month and then ongoing after that because veganism is a moral principle we should adhere to for life, not just for 22 days. But this is a good way to get them started. Let's see what she says. Hey, I want to show you something. So this here was what I was talking about. What you showed me to These are the male calves in the dairy industry. They are a waste product. Um, so they kill them really young uh, because they're just useless. They're, they're, they, they have no use in the dairy industry. They're for meat, they They can be, they can grow them for veal or they're just trash. They, they smash them on the head with a hammer and throw them in the bin. You mince them up for dog food or something like that. They're little babies. And they suck on your fingers when you meet them. Like, they're terrified. Them, torn from their mother, they need maternal bond. They need their mother. They're they living beings. They are in their belly for nine months, okay? Yeah. And I don't know, do you have any children? You have children. And they, the, the, the most haunting sound is on the dairy farm. The mother's pining for their young, and their young are sometimes 100 meters away, but they can't have that bond with their mother. So then they, Just, the farmer. Uh, divide them. They put the one on one side and another. So this is a green pasture farm. See, they're free. Look, they're free. They're free. They could be ecologically. Okay. And look, free. they're free. And then they're taking their children away. How is that freedom? They're not even free to be mothers. Yeah. They're chasing after their young. Their young are crying. We had a talk earlier with the woman who came here, and she said that. She sees cows when they give milk, like they are, the, like this is their job. She was like, yeah, like I go, I don't know, work Slaves. in the, yeah. So they believe that certain animals exist to serve human yeah, beings. exactly, she said that, yeah. She said that exactly as she goes to the work every day, that cows, cows work is actually giving milk to And us. blacks were here to serve white people. Yeah. I mean, that type of mentality where we, you know, commodify sentient beings is 
evil. Yeah. It's an evil way of looking at other sentient beings. We would never accept that for us, okay? So why do we sort of justify that towards other animals? And, and if we were to use that as a justification for enslaving human beings, well, they were put here for that purpose. They're not as superior as me. Cows are, are made to produce milk for me and they can go to the slaughterhouse when they can't produce milk anymore. It's um, not fair. No, it's not fair. Not fair. I completely agree about that. Infants. Without our money, buying dairy, cheese, yogurt, milk, these places do not exist. They rely on us. Mm. Tricking us with their calcium propaganda. We can have plant milk. We have plant-based yogurt. We have plant-based cheese made of nuts and seeds. And, you know, no one has to be killed, taken from their mother, shot in the head, stabbed in the throat. You know, when I say animals are stabbed to death, they're all stabbed to death. They're shot and stunned and they're stabbed in the throat. Um, it's just an injustice. It's not fair. They're only babies. And their mothers are only children too because they're first uh, impregnated when they're one year old. They live to their 25, sometimes, you know, a little bit longer. But their life is cut short. They have about four or five pregnancies, have their children taken off of them, and then they are put, minced up into hamburgers and their suffered, exploited bodies will be eaten by human beings. A lot of individuals, like, before we had this information, thought vegetarian was a moral choice because the flesh wasn't being consumed. But... but yeah. Milk and all uh, the products are there the same. Filling up the slaughterhouses with babies and exploited mothers. <laughs> Vegan22.com. Okay. Or oh, this is probably another vegan challenge. I can't read that. Is yeah, that yeah, vegan challenge? It's, it's 30 days of uh, vegan challenge. So you promise me that you will try a vegan challenge and complete it and then send me an email and, and tell me how you went. <laughs> I really love cheese. I know. Do you think that that, <laughs> in the face of this, I know. You, you, do I you love try. cheese more try. than you? No. Do you love cheese more than you hate this? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Have you tried vegan cheese? <laughs> Have you tried? Yeah, yeah, I did. But anyway, why? It's not that big sacrifice. So I you take so. pleasure from cheese. I used to too. And when I thought about pleasure, does that justify abusing someone? Of course not. Because there's a. Uh, other people who take pleasure from abusing others you know we can think about in what context cheese is a pleasure response we don't need it to survive and this is uh, the abuse that happens because of it yeah uh, okay i'll try uh, I, I think about you trying can try, you know what i, I think uh, about trying okay 30 no wait wait <laughs> 30 honest. days it's easy i've been it vegan for five decide. years to... i've been vegan for five years 30 days is I'm vegetarian all my life almost, but uh, veganism, it's, uh, I don't know, I have to think about it. I Are think we? about it, yeah. There's some incentive here. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Doesn't sound promising, I don't know. Maybe the seed has been planted though, we'll see. For anyone else, Challenge 22. I don't know how you can look at these animals and still say, I love the taste. I don't know. Babies being shot in the head and stabbed in the neck. And you love the taste of that? I don't know. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Proud of you for coming I, I out. I really hate cheesers. <laughs> Wait, yeah, were you the... Before, yeah, I was. You were showing her the, <laughs> the Bobby? The yeah, I was, I was almost crying. They don't even want to know what it's all about. They're worried about the mask and not the animals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess uh, you, you know, you could focus on those few people who say things, or you could focus on the massive amounts of change that are happening every day as yeah, well. Yeah, you know, yeah. so don't be disheartened. This no, happens. No, no, no. I am focusing on this. I was just overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Was just one moment. And I you know, like. To show respect to you and thank to your you. Team and I appreciate that. You know that um, change is never comfortable. So you, this is what's what happens yeah, when yeah. things change. People are going to say things, and doesn't really indicate. Um, how good, how much things are changing. Uh, I've been to different places all over Europe and the activism is just growing everywhere and there's vegan options literally everywhere. And we just walked up here, this street here, and there was vegan burgers being sold yeah, at that grill there. Mm -hmm. I mean, just amazing. 
We can get vegan options in nearly yeah, every have, supermarket on earth, nearly. Lots of options. Yeah, because there's more vegans and more vegan activism. Smoked tofu in nearly every corner shop on earth. That's progress. <laughs> and then at five meet, we meet for the workshop uh, with Joey, fearless activism. Um, That's me. Yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, like, tired right now, exhausted. Like, today will be the 14th speech of the tour and it's going to go for about two hours and then we've got a bus ride to Croatia, the last city. But I am so tired right now. I want to go to sleep, but we have to leave in about 20 minutes. Anger is a good emotion. Okay, it's how you channel it that matters. Okay, you should be angry. But also, with people who are brought up in the same culture you were before you stopped abusing animals, uh, with your choices, I think you should remember that. You were brought up in a culture conditioned by your parents to pay for the exploitation and abuse of many animals over the course of your life. Blood is on your hands from your past. Okay? We are acting in redemption of that. We are trying to redeem ourselves and trying to um, give back for what we, we took, uh, what, what originally wasn't ours. So remember that. Don't forget that. You know? So yeah, I think that will help as well. Like just, they're a victim of their culture, their conditioning as well. Probably, they might die of heart disease in the future because they've been told lies. Um, yeah, and also use that anger, channel it in a productive way. Channel it as passion. You know, I get angry and I, you know, I drop like a big video where I'm just, or a big post on Facebook. Use that anger, channel it. Um, it's, it's useful. It makes you a productive, effective activist. You can use it at, at its detriment though. You can, you can harm yourself with anger. But um, that doesn't help animals. Questions? How are you? Give thank us a you. Hug. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. Oh, thanks so much. Yes. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm What's this? You had I'm going to be obese after this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That was probably up there with one of the best workshops I've given which I was quite surprised seeing how tired we both are. I can't believe the tour is nearly over. This is crazy. It's gone so fast. Tomorrow, in Croatia, is our last day of events. What a roller coaster. It's been like a dream. But, let's see if we can finish it off with a bang, hey? This is actually the last and final speech of the three week Light Up The World Tour. Exhausted. All of my energy has just been put out. But it's all over now. <laughs> well, you know what? You don't need me to tell you. Don't listen to me. Listen to your own heart. Okay, don't worry about what I say. Listen to what you believe in your heart. Is what I'm saying true? Are you really against the abuse and unnecessary killing of innocent animals? If you are, then the only right choice is to live vegan. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank I, you. I have to Can I just... Ah. Ah. Thanks, darling. That's really nice Thanks. of you. Thank you.